Welcome back to Disrespect Disc Golf. Now, because I just announced my bag for the 2024 season, I think it's fitting to start a new series now. And I've been waiting for a lot of these discs to come back in my bag because they were getting dyed. And so I was missing like seven or eight discs in my bag. And so now that I have all my slots filled, I've got the bag locked and loaded, ready to go. This is the full arsenal, the full artillery. And I'm at my home course here at Austin in Jacksonville, Florida. And the series is gonna be Break 53. So I'm gonna play the blue pads, which are the long pads here. Um, the one that I play for the Jacksonville Open. And, uh, yeah, I've got a break 53. So this course is a par 57. So that means I have to shoot five under. I have to break four under. So I gotta get five birdies and no bogeys. That's the goal. Or if I do bogey, I gotta really turn on the jets and get a lot of birdies. So this is episode one. Let's see how uh, day one goes at this challenge. Break 53. Let's get into it. All right, hole one is 354 feet. Goes a little bit uphill, and um, I have not warmed up, so the rule for this series is going to be I can do two off the top. So that's going to be customary for break 53 series. A little bit of a swirling wind going on right now, so I'm going to go with my Wraith, and then after that I'll go with the Vandal. So see what the first shot can do. Yep, that's why I'm doing two off the top. Here goes the Vandal. All right, should be easy par. Got about 60, 65 feet. And yes, that was the Berg. All right, good start, nice easy par. So they move the pins here um, every couple weeks or so. So depending on how long it takes me to break 53 um, the pin placements are going to change a lot and so that could either be really good or really bad so today I'll figure out whether or not I have the generous positions or not so there are some positions that give you a par 4 and some that just give you par 3 depending on the hole so if this is one of the ones where it's some par 4s then you know I better uh, attack this course and break this while it's scoreable you know alright hole 2 is pretty long 412 feet Par three, you got this Mando here forcing you to the right. Gonna go with a hyzer flip with my grace and see if I can get the distance right. All right, not too mad with that, even through two. All right, hole three, 375. Straight ahead, and it fades a little bit left at the end. It's a pretty far shot, 375, par three. Gonna go with my arc, flip it up the middle, see if I can get a lot of glide. All right, pretty decent result. Should be easy up and down. So for me to shoot five under on this track, I'm looking to want to be at least one under after this front nine. So I definitely don't want to take any bogeys at all because I feel like if I take a bogey, six, six birdies is like almost impossible for me with this track. So that's the goal, no bogeys. See if I can get at least one birdie on this front nine. Back nine is way more scoreable. All right, I do have a long putt. That's fine, easy par, don't do anything stupid. Hole four, par three, 403, up and then to the right. 
OB left of the walking path or on the path. I'm gonna go forehand with my slingshot. First forehand of the day. Let's see how she feels. Well, I didn't think it'd be that powerful so this early. Flipped it over, out of bounds. It's gonna be a bogey. All right, going zone here. <clears throat> All right, this is a hole I usually bogey, so I gotta come away with a par here. Birdie would be miraculous. Hole five is par three, 380 feet, high floor, low ceiling. Um, super, super tricky. Tunnel shot. So you got to push straight. I'm going to go with the arc here. That could do it. Missed that one. That could do it. All right. That's pretty much as good as I could hope for right there. All right, this is actually an amazing drive. I've got to putt 40, maybe 45 feet. Oh, that would have been so good. Just off the cage. <clears throat> Hole six, 264, right there in the middle. Got to get this one. Or at least not take a boogie. I'm gonna go with my redemption here. Hype it straight up the gap. This is a very, very critical tee shot at this point. That's why it's a critical tee shot. Alright, I gotta put. Decent scramble, I think that got me in C1. That was a good par save right there. Hole 7, par 4, only 351. But through the woods, awkward tee shot. Goes and spins to the right, right away. Kind of like a weird right angle. Excuse the planes. Seems like every course in Florida is right by an airport. Yeah, very, very tricky, par four, but it's um, it's eagleable. but it's also definitely birdieable. So I'm gonna get risky with the backhand turnover with the Saint. All right, pretty decent landing zone. All right, gonna go for a tight gap on the right side, backhand chain breaker. Cool, man. All right, this is not a gimme up and down. Yep, this video might be over. That, that was terrible. This hole is screwing me right now. All right, tap in six for the double. That's how you double bogey a 351 foot hole. Woo! Okay, now that's obviously insanely frustrating. <sighs> Gotta like get my emotions back in check because right now I just wanna go off the rails because that was not supposed to be a blow up hole. That was like a hopeful birdie hole. Um, I hit like every single tree though. So now, here's what I'm thinking. I'm three over. I'm only going to hole eight. Can I get eight birdies? Sure. I would have to play like the best disc golf of my life and play absolutely lights out. Knock down a bunch of C2 putts probably. Miss all the trees on every shot. It's looking very unlikely. So 
I'm like currently debating like, okay, should I keep the goal at break 53? Or should it be like break 54 or break 55? I don't know. That's what's going through my head right now. And also I could just keep it at break 53 and um, maybe do like a series of 10 videos. And if I can't break this in 10 videos, then I lose the challenge. So let me know which option of those two you like better, but I'm gonna finish out this video with the um, break 53 um, and uh, at least try to get under par. That's the goal now. All right, I'm gonna follow up that double bogey with a super daunting shot. Hole eight, par three, 443. Plays really downhill, but almost impossible to get the birdie. Um, see if I can get this down there and get an easy par. And with the vandal here. I'll take it. Okay, I lied. Um, I thought this was in the par three position according to the sign. Uh, after I teed off, which is still a good drive, but after I teed off, the guys on a different hole said it's uh, the par four position. So, a possible birdie if I can um, be in a good spot here and uh, have a decent approach. So, because um, otherwise, if it was par three, it would be unlikely birdie. But now it's possible birdie chance here. Okay, very unlikely birdie now. Okay, that'll be a long putt. Just off the top. Oh, I thought I had that one too. All right. So honestly, some positive takeaways. Yes, that was a par. Yes, I'm currently three over, but that putt could have been a birdie. That hit the band, played that one really well. Um, so if that was a birdie, then that's two over. Also the one on hole five that hit the cage, um, that would be one over. And then hole nine here is birdieable. So if I, if I birdie this, I could potentially be looking at even next time I play, depending on if I just play a little bit cleaner and make some putts. So um, three over is a little bit discouraging on the scorecard, but um, I've just been a little bit off in some of these putts, but honestly good bids from the distance. All right, hole nine, it's in the C position, 393, places a par three over the water and then on the left side there. So I'm gonna go with the rapture, make sure this doesn't turn over in the water. It has been a while, honestly, since I've played the blue course <laughs> and really tried to attack it. That's uh, my excuse right now. Tap in there. Um, yeah, blue is harder than I thought. It's been a while since I've really just played a course and like really tried to attack it for a good score. Um, yeah, it's a different dynamic whenever you have a channel and you are like creating content and throwing weird discs or constantly just throwing stuff that's not your main go-to bag. So um, this is kind of like a warm-up round and uh, it's gonna be a good gauge for the rest of the series. So yeah, like I said, I'd like to claw back to even par at least, still three over. Um, heading into the back nine now, this is the easier of the two nines for sure. I can absolutely get three birdies. I could get four or five. Um, if I get five birdies, that's two under, and that's only three off the goal, so. Um, I want to at least get three birdies, though. So, let's see how this uh, back nine plays out. All right, holds in here. 375, par three. It's got a water carry. You can either do a tight, like, Anheuser flex over the water, let it come back. You can do forehand. 
Um, the pros always go big hyzer over the water, which is just impossibly big in person when you see this. Like, that is just huge. I'm gonna go with my boss, something really stable. Maybe give it a slight flex over the water and kind of do like more of a direct route to the basket. Here we go. Unfortunately, it went just barely OB. All right, looking like a bogey that I did not see coming. At least I saved that four over now. Gotta turn this thing around. All right, hole 11, 310 feet, a little bit uphill. I'm gonna go with the Enoch here. Get off that, dang it. All right, little popcorn up the gap here. If it missed those branches by an inch, that would be like parked. Another twig hit, inches. All right, I said the back nine was more scoreable, and so far I've gone bogey bogey on the back nine. Not cool. All right, hole 12, par three, 387. I'm gonna go with my wraith here. Didn't give it any height. You know you're not gonna break 53 when you're trying to throw in for birdie on hole 12. Sit. That was stupid because that's not even a gimme. They call that a burnt turkey. Three bogeys in a row to start the back nine. Okay, I'm gonna try to not steam too much on film. But I am very on edge right now. Super frustrated with my game. This is just a practice round for a fun channel video. And it just gets me on edge. It's so frustrating. I can't be playing better than this. I don't know if I'm just asking too much of myself or what, but uh, is that four, five over or six over now? I don't even know, but it's mounting quickly and I'm going in the wrong direction. Zero birdies. This one's a par four. This one is a must get birdie for sure. All right, hole 13, par four, 523. I'm gonna go with the Rapture. There's a double Mando up ahead. So I'm gonna play this one as a hyzer and hit the landing zone. 